Hey Vibe, I think this you must be hungry now. Time for you to have lunch. Hi boys and girls. You all are here with us today. Story time it is. Okay, one sec. Let me send Vibe for lunch because he has been helping me in the garden here. And I think it's time for him to go and have something to eat. Go Vibe. I'll see you in a bit, okay? A lovely cocker spaniel, puppy. But you're here today. A vibe is going to lunch. It reminded me of a story I would love to tell you. It's a boy who was going to have some lunch, but he did something special. And let me tell you about it. This is about two young boys. They were like about 12 and 11. Two good friends. They lived side by side of each other, next door neighbors. One was Justin and the other was Dexter. Dexter and Justin loved to play. It was a Sunday. Sundays are their best days for them because they love to play and they love to ride. And this Sunday in particular, they were riding. <coughs> Not far from home, there's a savannah close to the house. And they were riding for most of the day until it was time to come home because they were tired. It was a hot day and they were sweaty. They rode across the home, they dropped their bikes. And just about that time was when Dexter's mother had finished cooking. Lunch was about ready and she was calling out to her family to her husband, Daddy, and to Dexter, because she didn't know where Dexter was. It's time for food, let's come and eat. When she looked through the window, she would have seen Justin and Dexter having water at the fountain in the garden. She smiled because she loved these boys and how they behave and how, they, how, how, how the friendship that they enjoyed. So she called out to them. She said, Dexter, it's time for lunch. And then she called Justin and said, Justin, would you love to have lunch with us? I would love you to have lunch with us. Would you? Justin was. His eyes started to roll. He started to lick his lips. He started to pat his tummy. He was getting all excited because Justin remembered how Dexter's mom cooked. Well, he never tasted her hand, but he would always smell her cooking. He used to smell when her meals, her sumptuous meals were being prepared. He used to smell when she was baking cake. He used to smell when she was making roti. So, oh boy, he was excited and he was bubbling. And Dexter's mom said, I would love for you to have lunch with us, if you will, but then you will have to ask your mommy, as if your mommy will let you. And she said, and he said, yes, sir. let me run across and ask her. Man, Dexter sped off, boom, across the home, quickly got into home, and while panting, mommy, 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 he cried out, can I, can I, can I, can I? He said, calm down, mommy said, what is it? Dexter and I was riding and we came to Dexter's home and Dexter's mommy invited me to have lunch. Can I, can I, can I, please, please, mommy? Mommy was excited because mommy too loved Dexter. Mommy loved the family. They were fairly new to the neighborhood, but she enjoyed the boys and the company that they kept together. She enjoyed the family because the family was a respectful one and they were really decent and they behaved well. So she said, Justin, it's not a problem. I would love for you to have lunch with them since they invited you. But I want to tell you something that you must remember though. While you're across there, remember to say please and to say thank you at the right time when you are to. Say, yes, mommy, I will. Yes, mommy, I will. She said, no, wait, wait. And also, remember to not stuff food in your mouth, and not to speak with food in your mouth, and you should only speak to persons if they speak to you. Yes, mommy, yes, mommy, I will, will, will. And he's about to go, and then mommy said, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. And most importantly, remember, we must pray before we have our meals. We want to thank God for the meals that he's provided and the way he has blessed us so that we can have this. So remember, say yes, mommy, I will. And with that, Justin was off, running across to the house right next door, Dexter's house. As he got there, Dexter's mom was at the door to greet him with a woman arm, and she and him giggled together. She guided him in, into the dining room. At the dining room, Justin would have entered. He would have already met Dexter at the table seated, and Dexter's daddy seated. And they too welcome him. Dexter saying, come, 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 come. Justin, come and sit down. Oh boy, Justin was all excited. He could have smelled the lovely food. The food looked yummy. It really did. And he was, man, he was all over. He was turning flush, he was turning red. He sat down at the table, and they were about to eat. The table had a lovely spread. I could remember it because Justin always spoke of it. There was pak choy. There was bodhi, there was some cassava, there was boiled plantain, he tells me. There was macaroni pie, there was fried fish. What else? Be besides the fresh salad, it seemed like there was a whole lot. 
Justin always tells me of this meal. And he was there, and they were about to have it. So everybody was seated. Mother sat down next to her husband, Dexter's daddy. And Justin sat, and they were ready. The meal was set out, it was prepared, and it was ready to have. Daddy said, okay boys, and everything is set. Let's go for it. And with that, they started to eat. Knives and forks, and they were going for it, and going for it, and going for it. But something was different. Daddy was eating, mommy was eating, Dexter was eating but Justin was not. Daddy looked at Justin and said, Justin, what's wrong? Is it um, the cassava, the, 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 the planting, or something you don't like? Justin said, no, everything looks fine. He said, no, well, eat up, eat up, you can eat, you can eat. But Justin was still a bit uncomfortable. And he said, what is it, speak to us. No, you, you can eat, it's okay. So Justin said, well, where we at at home, while we are home, uh, you know, we would normally pray before we have our meals because we will want to thank God for the meal that was provided. And we'll want to ask God to bless the hands that prepared it, that's mommy, and thank him generally for all that he has done for us. Dexter's daddy, Dexter's mommy, and even Dexter, they were a bit, I wouldn't say, they felt a bit uneasy, but they weren't uneasy in, in a good way because here it is, they were now reminded of what they should have done first. Texas daddy said, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, Justin. I'm glad you reminded us of that. Sometimes we forget and you are right. We should never have a meal unless we thank God for the provisions that he's made and thank him even for mommy who has, he has blessed with the skill to prepare such a wonderful meal. So with that, he decided to pray, and he asked Justin to pray. And Justin said a simple prayer that Dexter will never forget because he remembers saying it all the time. But Justin said, thank you, dear God, for this family who had invited me to have a meal with them. He said, thank you, dear God, for Dexter's mommy, who you have blessed with this special talent to prepare such a wonderful meal. Thank you, dear God, for providing us and keeping us alive even up to today so we could fellowship and we could eat at this meal and give you thanks. It was a simple prayer and he said, this is my prayer in Jesus' name, amen. Dexter's daddy, Dexter's mommy, and Dexter smiled. They were more than happy and they told Justin thanks for that. And they were happy he did that because now they were reminded and even up to today, they never forgot to pray before having a meal. Justin, in his little way, was able to witness to this family just by telling them of what he practices at home and what they did not, and they saw for themselves where they lacked. But they were not ashamed, and he never made them feel different. But today, Dexter and Justin are still the best of friends. And today, Dexter is always, will always remember that special day when they had that meal, and that prayer was given, and everyone was blessed. So boys and girls, we too can learn from this. Let us try in our little way, wherever we can, whichever way we can, to teach our friends and those around us God is alive and that we should be thankful for all that he does for us every day. Bye boys and girls, see you next time.